Welcome to YQ Academy Serialization Java Interview Questions and Answers. 1. What is serialization in Java? Serialization in Java is the process of converting an object into a byte stream, which can be stored in a file, transmitted over a network, or saved in a database. This allows the object to be recreated later by deserializing the byte stream. Serialization is used for various purposes, such as persisting object state, transferring objects between different Java applications or systems, and caching objects. To make a class serializable, it must implement the Java IO. Serializable interface, which is a marker interface indicating that the class can be serialized. The serialization process automatically handles the serialization and deserialization of the object's non transient fields, preserving their values and relationships. However, transient fields, which are marked with the transient keyword, are not serialized. The serialization process is performed using the object output stream class, which writes the object state to an output stream. The deserialization process is performed using the object input stream class, which reads the byte stream and recreates the object with its original state. Serialization also allows for customizing the serialization and deserialization process by implementing special methods such as write object and read object. These methods can be used to control which fields are serialized, perform custom serialization logic, or handle backward compatibility issues. 2. What is the main purpose of serialization? 1. Object persistence. Serialization allows objects to be converted into a byte stream and stored in a file, database, or any other persistent storage. This enables the preservation of objects data across different program executions, allowing objects to be saved and loaded as needed. 2. Network communication. Serialization enables objects to be transmitted over a network between different Java applications or systems. Objects can be serialized on one machine and deserialized on another, allowing for the exchange of complex data structures and communication between distributed components. 3. Caching Serialization is used in caching mechanisms to store frequently accessed objects in a serialized form. This allows for faster retrieval and reduces the need for expensive object creation or database queries. 4. Object cloning. Serialization can be used to create deep copies of objects by serializing them and then deserializing the resulting byte stream. This is particularly useful when objects need to be copied or cloned with all their internal state intact. 5. Versioning and compatibility. Serialization provides a mechanism to handle versioning and compatibility issues between different versions of classes. By specifying a serial Versailles on NUID and implementing custom serialization methods, developers can control the serialization and deserialization process, ensuring compatibility between different versions of serialized objects. 3. What are alternatives to Java serialization? 1. JSON JavaScript Object Notation JSON is a lightweight data interchange format that is widely used for data serialization and communication between systems. Java provides libraries like Jackson and Xen that allow for easy serialization and deserialization of Java objects to JSON format. 2. XML Extensible Markup Language XML is another popular format for data serialization and exchange. 
Java provides libraries such as Jack's Java Architecture for XML binding that allow for mapping Java objects to XML and vice versa. 3. Protocol Buffers Protocol Buffers, developed by Google, is a language-agnostic binary serialization format. It provides a compact binary representation of structured data and offers high performance and backward compatibility. Java provides the Protocol Buffers library for serialization and deserialization of Protocol Buffers messages. 4. Custom Serialization Developers can implement their own custom serialization mechanisms by defining custom serialization slash deserialization methods in their classes. This allows for fine-grained control over the serialization process and can be useful in scenarios where performance, security, or specific data formatting requirements are critical. 5. Externalization Java provides the externalizable interface, which allows developers to have full control over the serialization and deserialization process of objects. By implementing this interface, developers can explicitly define how the object state is serialized and deserialized, providing flexibility and customization options. 4. Explain about Serializable Interface in Java. The Serializable Interface in Java is a marker interface that indicates that a class can be serialized. It is a special interface that does not contain any methods or fields, but serves as a marker to the Java runtime environment that the class can be serialized and its state can be saved to a persistent storage or transferred over a network. When a class implements the serializable interface, it signifies that objects of that class can be converted into a stream of bytes, which can then be written to a file, sent over a network, or stored in a database. The serialization process allows the object state its fields and values to be saved and later restored, effectively preserving the object state across different executions of the program or when it is transferred between different systems. To make a class serializable, it needs to implement the serializable interface. This is typically done by simply adding the implement serializable clause to the class declaration. For example, 5. How to make object serializable in Java. 1. Implement the serializable interface. Add the implement serializable clause to the class declaration. This indicates that the class can be serialized. The serializable interface doesn't require any methods to be implemented since it is a marker interface. 2. Ensure all fields are serializable. All non-transient fields of the class and any objects referenced by those fields must be serializable. If a field is not serializable or reference is a non-serializable object, an exception will be thrown during serialization. 3. Handle custom serialization. If your class has fields that are not serializable or requires custom serialization logic, you can provide additional methods to control the serialization process. These methods are write object and read object. They allow you to define how the object is serialized and deserialized. For example, 4. Handle versioning. When serializing objects, it's important to consider versioning. If you make changes to the class structure after serializing objects, it may cause compatibility issues during deserialization. To handle versioning, you can define a serial vs i onuid field in your class to ensure consistent serialization and deserialization across different versions of the class. 5. 
Once you have implemented the serializable interface and ensured that all necessary fields are serializable, you can use the Java Serialization API to serialize the object by writing it to an object to put stream and deserialize it by reading it from an object in put stream. This is the end of our Java interview questions. We hope you enjoyed learning with YQ Academy. Until next time, goodbye.